from the Ella Johnson Library and today for Art Explorers we are going to be doing a really fun printmaking technique with homemade jelly plates. Now if you're not familiar with what a jelly plate is, I have one right here. So a jelly plate is just that. It's made out of gelatin and it feels a lot like a sticky hand. It's very bouncy very flexible and it comes in these cool sheets to protect it because it is so sticky and what you can do with this is a really cool mono printing technique now we've done some mono printing before but this one's a little bit different because this is reusable so you're going to be making your very own and I have some that I made here and you can tell very similar consistency, sticky, rubbery, stretchy. In the kit that you picked up from the library, you're going to have your instructions on how to make your jelly plate. In that kit, you will have vegetable glycerin and powdered gelatin. All you have to do is mix the glycerin with the gelatin in a microwave safe bowl. Then, with the help of a parent or guardian, you are going to pour in the quantity of boiling hot water, mix it, and then microwave it. And that will give you your jelly plate. You're going to pour it into either the provided tins that we gave you, or if you have your own cookie sheet, you could do that as well. These are just gonna make smaller individual jelly plates. These will last for a very, very long time if you put it in a container with a lid. Keep it out of the sunlight and anywhere with extreme heat. A little shrinking will occur. As you can see when I demolded this one, it shrunk a little bit. But after you make it, you're going to let it sit in your tin until it's completely set. It's about an hour. Um, before you walk away, make sure that you take a paper towel and skim it across the top because you wanna get any of the foam or bubbles out of it. This has a little bit of foam, but no bubbles because what that will do is cause little pinholes in your jelly plate and so whenever you go to print you're gonna have those little holes that stick out so after you make your jelly plate then it's time for you to print so I have this one that I took out here I'm gonna demold this one these do have some stretch but do be careful because you can perforate them you can poke holes in them and you can rip them so just be very cautious it's slightly delicate So you can see this is our jelly plate. And you can use the texture on the plate in your print or you could use the flat surface. So I have two different sizes here. I have some printmaking paper, but any kind of thicker paper will do. You will have some provided to you in your kit. Um, but this is just a little bit more standard um, thickness than a sheet of paper that you would use to print from your printer. It's closer to a drawing paper. The other thing that you'll have in your kit from the library is a brayer. Yours will be foam, I have a rubber one. This is actually a real printmaking brayer. I have a couple different sizes, um, but it's just rubber and it rolls. In your kit, you should have some paint as well. I have with me some actual printmaking block printing ink, which is a water-based ink. It's very close to an acrylic paint um, you can use anything on your jelly plates. It doesn't have to be block printing ink, um, as long as it's water-based and not oil-based because you won't be able to clean that up. So you can use temper paint, acrylic paint. Um, there's some craft paints. Uh, I wouldn't use watercolors, but gouache might be pretty fun. Um, any one of those. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to roll some color out. The cool thing about jelly plates is you're creating a mono print, and that is a one-time print. So after you print it, you can wipe it off and start all over again. What you could also use for your printmaking is a paintbrush, some Q-tips, something that has texture. 
So I have some bubble wrap here if you have some lace or some crinkly paper or something that has nice texture to it. I'll show you a technique that we can do. So I'm going to lay my plates here. And I'm going to roll my ink over here so that we're not making a mess all over the plates but before we even get it started. So you're just gonna do a dollop. And I'm going to roll a little bit of a rainbow roll as uh, printmakers call it. That's just where you blend some colors together. Uh, so I'll be blending my turquoise and my yellow together a little bit. So I'll kind of bring this into view so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're just going to roll this together. Make sure you have it a little bit flat. I'm doing this on a disposable palette. If you have a paper plate, you could do that. Um, what's even better is a glass tabletop or a piece of plexiglass. Um, that's probably the best bet you'll have to roll out smooth color so you can see that it's blending together. Another thing that you could use um, would be an aluminum pan or um, some wax paper will also work. If you're using anything that kind of wrinkles like that, I would tape it down to something solid like this board that I have. So I'm going to roll this directly onto my jelly plate. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to place it over top. I'm going to use my palm and rib. So you get a nice print there. So you have a cool little dot. So another technique that we can do, you can see that there. And you roll some more ink on here. is to take something with texture and kind of pick up some of the color off the plate. And you can see that it left the texture from the bubble wrap. You can layer your stuff on top of each other. So if this dried and I went back and printed this on top of it, it would create like a cool kind of two dimensional uh, look to it over top of each other. You can also, let's take this one. Take things like paint brushes or Q-tips. And you can remove some of the color. So I took the first layer off. I want to go back with the yellow and kind of go over top of it. And we'll see if I get my face to come out two tone. There we go. So the blue stayed on top and I rolled back over it with yellow and it created the uh, yellow markings in where I had removed the blue paint from. So jelly printing is really fun and easy to do. Like I said, this will last you for a very, very long time if you keep it in a container with a lid and out of the sun or extreme heat. After you're done printing, all you have to do is take a damp cloth and wipe your jelly plate off. You don't want it soaking wet, just damp enough to wipe off the color. Because like I said, it is sticky so it will stick a little bit. Make sure the water is lukewarm, not too hot. If you have too hot of a water, you could run the risk of melting your plate. 
So don't dunk it in water and don't run it under something really hot. Damp cloth, wipe it off. So that is jelly printing. It's really fun, super easy, and you can make a ton of plates. The cost of one of the ones that's pre-made, it's like 15 to $20 for one of those. And these two ingredients are like five bucks. So you're saving a lot of money, you're creating something cool, and it's kind of a science experiment and art. So double the fun. If you guys make some awesome art and wanna show us, you can send it to us through our email on social media. You can tag us in your pictures, anything you want. Let us know what kind of amazing prints you made. And don't forget to come into the library because we have some awesome events coming up pretty soon. I can't wait to see you guys there. Have a good day.